Howard H. Baker Jr., a senator from Tennessee, born in Huntsville, and a graduate of the University of Tennessee College of Law in 1949. Baker has had an impressive resume among serving in the Navy, and as senator, he served as White House Chief of Staff to President Ronald Reagan from 1987 to 1988. However, before he could take this post, the current White House Chief of Staff would have to be removed, Donald Reagan. Don Regan's tenure as Chief of Staff was problematic in several ways. From the beginning, it was intended to be different from his predecessors. He was touted in the business press as a streamlined, corporate-style White House. Regan's staff, loyal and dependent upon their boss, but basically implementers, not thinkers, came to be known widely in the White House as the mice. The presidency has never undergone such a thoroughgoing transformation in management style. Upon Howard Baker's arrival to the White House, there was a great deal of controversy uh, concerning the Iran-Contra. Due to the sale of arms to Iran for the release of six hostages and to allow U.S. intelligence to fund Nicaraguan Contras, which had been prohibited by Congress earlier. It was meant to improve U.S.-Iranian relations, but instead put Reagan under a great deal of scrutiny, and as a result, they looked to Baker to clean up the mess. A chief of staff is many things. An advisor, an administrator who makes the trains run on time in the White House. But one of the key elements of the chief of staff's job, and perhaps the key part, is to be a guardian to protect the interests of the president. Dave will take it from here. Interrupted, I hope, by a proper pay on to his, uh, his outstanding news. <laughs> when Howard Baker arrived at the White House, and when Howard Baker arrived, as Chuck said, uh, he found a mess. Uh, the White House staff was dysfunctional, uh, in disarray. Baker had three goals in mind. Uh, in those early days for revamping and re-energizing uh, the present. First, survive around Contra if possible and if it's deserved. Second, obtain an arms agreement with the Soviet Union. And third, elect a Republican president in 1980. In general, modern chiefs of staff uh, assume four major responsibilities. Uh, administrator of the White House process, they're also an advisor to the president. They're a guardian uh, or protector of the president's interests. Uh, and finally, they're a proxy for the president on the Hill and in the media. Baker did not rule through fear, but through respect, but more of a facilitator. The staff felt comfortable with him and felt as if they had access to both the chief of staff uh, and the president when they needed. Professor Cohen conducted a study asking respondents to rank White House Chief of Staffs on a scale of 1 to 7, 1 being the least effective and 7 being the most effective. Upon receiving the results, data shows that Baker was well-liked and greatly effective during his time as Reagan's White House Chief of Staff. On a scale of 1 to 7, with 7 being most effective, 1 being least effective, Howard Baker scored 6.5. Uh, and that's pretty darn good. 